This lesson is on fragments. Fragments are actually small pieces of a larger object. For example, if I held a large glass vase over my head and dropped it, it would burst into thousands of tiny pieces, also called fragments. If you think about the word part frag, you also see it in the word fragile. If something's fragile, it can easily be broken or shattered into lots of small pieces. So when your teacher tells you you have fragments in your writing and you need to fix them, what she's telling you is that you just have pieces of sentences. And to fix them, they need to be made whole and you have to add the missing information. So the first thing you need to do is check your sentences. Sentences need two things. The first is a subject or who or what the sentence is about. Next, sentences also need a predicate. These begin with a verb and include any extra information like phrases, adjectives, or adverbs. Let's look at an example of a complete sentence. John went to the store. In this sentence, John is the subject or who or what the sentence is about. Went to the store is the predicate. Went is the main verb and to the store is a prepositional phrase adding information to the overall sentence. Now let's look at an example of a predicate fragment. Drove into the field. This is just a predicate. The subject is missing. We don't know who or what drove into the field. This next example is a subject fragment. Shelley, who is in my first period class. While this tells us more information about Shelley, it doesn't tell us what she did or any other information about her. It's simply adding a explanation of which Shelley is being talked about. In this last example, we have a phrase fragment. These are some of the hardest to recognize. Into the woods, behind the creek, past the old barn. In this case, it is missing both the subject and the predicate. We don't know who or what the sentence is about, and we don't know exactly what they did. We just know the locations where they went. So, to find and fix your fragments, simply ask yourself what words are missing. One strategy I recommend is to read your text aloud to yourself. There are several ways to do this. You can go to a room by yourself and read it out loud, or some students um, that I've had will read quietly just loud enough so they can hear themselves. They will whisper, and some students will actually um, put their fingers in their ears and read it just barely enough that they can hear themselves inside their head. But if the whole class is doing this at the same time, then nobody's paying attention to anybody else and everybody's looking for missing words and it works rather well. And last but not least, you should always have someone check over your work. Um, a good strategy for finding fragments is to have a partner read out loud to you. When you hear your text out loud, you and your partner will recognize when you are missing words and easily be able to correct it. And of course, the question that I usually get from students at this point is, do I really have to read it out loud? I don't want to read my stuff out loud. I don't want my partner to read my work out loud. And the answer to that is yes. If you read something in your mind, your eyes skim over the text so fast that your brain actually finds and fixes the mistakes and you don't recognize them. But when you actually read out loud or someone reads out loud to you, it slows the processes of your brain down and you have to say and hear the words and you recognize those mistakes. Thanks for listening. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember, you can always watch this video again.